poetry for warriors. The bridge of that station grew suddenly cold. The weedy man threw the beaker. He began to grow in grotesque ways as his screams bellowed like speakers. Quickly, team, we must work together to stop this abominable shape. He's used his connection to the Academy to synthesize powers, my sensors indicate. And so it was true. That weedy man, Alistair Anton by name, had been playing dumb this entire time and harvesting powers for his game. You're right, Robo-Jerk. It was all in my plan, and you all fell for it. Step off, man. We're taking you down, crazy powers or not. Captain Majestic leaned over and whispered his thoughts. Dana, foo, I will be a distraction. See if you can get to his computers. Then with a loud and raucous, Hiya! The dragon and captain became pursuers. Dana took her opportunity and plugged straight into Anton's mainframe. She found the artificial gravity program and recalibrated its gain. Soon everyone began to float and Anton's fight raged on. He compensated for the loss of gravity with powers of his own. Hot Chick, the captain, and Fireman flew around, igniting Anton's mustache. The dragon jumped away from the fight and changed his tactic in a flash. He took from his gi an old tea set and sat down to brew a treat. He poured hot water from his thermos and let a tea bomb steep. When the bomb was finished, he tore a piece of his clothes and dipped it into the knockout liquid and threw it to their captain bold. Captain, catch! The dragon bellowed, and the captain did just that, but it nearly knocked him out with the smell, but he kept his wits intact. The captain flew as fast as he could and shoved the bomb into Anton's maw. The monstrous overpowered man fell. It seems sleep was your fatal flaw. A week after saving the world, from the evil Alistair Anton, Captain Majestic and crew received an award to hang their hat on. Junior Superhero Team of the Week, on a plaque above David's bed. You know, we shouldn't be considered junior, was what Dana had said. I know what you're saying is right, but in time they'll respect our craft. And the whole team celebrated their victory with hugs and cheers and laughs. This has been Poetry for Warriors Daily. For more, visit joshuadavidling.com.